Well, I'm out with Tony from Improve Your Course Risk today at a lovely lake called Bitterwell Lake near Bristol. But Tony just said to me one of the biggest questions he get asked in the magazine is what silicon and obviously, you know, what silicon suits, what float you're going to be using. We're talking about pole floats, obviously. Now, I keep it nice and simple. These here, this is real good quality silicon, which is really, really important. It's the clear silicon. It's not the coloured silicon. I always find the clear lasts for ages and it's really, really tough. As you can see on the packaging there, it's a 0.3 and a 0.5. And that covers me for virtually every single flow I use commercial fishing. So that's whether I'm using a wire stem, carbon stem, or even fiberglass. So 0.3, 0.5, make sure it's a good quality um, silicon like that. Now, for example, I've got two floats there. That's an F1 maggot, which is a carbon stem. It's 0.3 um, thick. And next door to that, I've got a diamond, which is a 0.6 fiberglass stem. Now on there, that's an F1 maggot. That's the 0.3 silicon. And that goes on there. It's sort of like, it's not loose and it's not really tight. It's lovely and that's what you want. It doesn't matter what main line I'm using, whether I'm using 011, which is like three pound, and where, or whether I'm using up to 017, which is like nearly eight pound main line, I use the same silicon. So 0.3 for anything like a 0.3 of a stem float, carbon, wire. And then when I get up to the 0.6, which is like the diamond, which is a fiber class stem, that is the 0.5 silicon and it per it works perfectly so it's not going to come off when you start moving your float which is an absolute pain as we know and it's not too tight to move your float up and down and you're going to damage your line now one other thing what i get asked a lot is what is the measurements of silicon you use on each float now whatever float it is whether it's a uh, like i said a diamond or an f1 mag or any float you, you're using I always have three bits of silicon. So I put one near the body, just down from the body, one in the center and the one on the end. Now, I've just actually measured these because when I'm making rigs at home, I don't actually measure them, I just do them by memory. The ones, the one by the body and the one in the middle are around four millimeters, but the one on the end is eight millimeters. And that's really important because that hangs over the stem. So you don't want that end bit of silicon like that. You want it so the silicon is hanging over the end and that stops all the twists up. If you've got that up the stem a little bit and when you ship out, it, sometimes your float sits a bit weird. So always have your silicon hanging over probably about a mil or two at the end. And that's it, it's as simple as that. So 0 0.3, 0 0.5 silicon on both of those floats there which covers you for probably 99% of your commercial fishing.